Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Chapters Interactive Stories, Hide and Seek, Chapter 3. It's been a long week for you and your little brother, Caleb. The Harmons seem nice. They even gifted you with your own personal scooters to ride around the house. Caleb drives off on a scooter before you have a chance to thank the Harmons. You chase after him so he doesn't wander off alone. It's certain that in a place this big, with this many hiding spots, nothing bad would ever happen to you. After a couple hours of riding scooters to the mansion, Caleb asked if you could take him to explore outside. Enter the garden, which resembles Eden, with lush greenery and beautiful birds in its cage. Caleb instantly rushes over to try to pet the bird. Caleb, don't you even think about it. But I just want to pet him. He looks friendly. No way. Not until we get permission. Who knows how they feel about us going in there. For all we know, that could be part of their priceless things. We don't want the Harmons to get upset, do we? What is it? What are you looking at? You turn to see a strange woman dressed in white and blue in the middle of the garden, watering flowers. Who is she? Probably the maid? Mr. Hammond didn't mention a maid. Then let's ask her, shall we? No, let's just go back inside. Come on, Caleb, don't be a scaredy cat. No, Emily, I don't wanna. Are you really that afraid of going to talk to her? Caleb, I don't know what to do with you. I'm not afraid. Oh, you aren't, are you? No, I just don't want to talk to her. Well then, I'm going to go talk to her so you can just stay here alone by yourself. You approach the woman in the middle of the garden. Caleb is hesitant at first, but not wanting to stay behind, he follows you to greet the mysterious woman. Another zombie. <laughs> Good afternoon. Who are you to... Us? It's so nice to meet another person. Well, we just moved in the mansion, so we'll be living here now. How delightful! Yes, we drove for hours to get here, but our room isn't ready, so we're just exploring the mansion. That's not what she's asking us. She was asking for our names. She asked who we were, not what our names are. You'll have to excuse him. He's in that phase where he takes everything literally. I'm Emily, and this is my brother, Caleb. The Harmons adopted us. Kaylee, Emily, and Caleb. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the gardener. I came to water the plants. It's my job here. I like to keep the place alive, you know? Alive. What's your name? Am I? Am I blind? I swear he just said, what's your name? Okay, anyway. That's a lovely name! Oh dear, look at the time. The sun is setting and I really should. Rosemary seems to be holding back something as she trails off. I need to not talk to her anymore. Rosemary never finishes her sentence. She merely waves and walks off into the fields. I'm a zombie! <laughs> When you return to the house, dinner is ready. There's enough to feed a small army. The Hammonds let Caleb watch television in the other room while sitting at the dinner table with you. This is the first home-cooked meal I've had in a very long time. It's so perfect. I can't believe you made all this for us, and everything is delicious. We wanted you to know how happy we are that you're joining us. But I might have gone a little overboard. We don't mind. We're extremely hungry. Thank you for dinner, and for taking us in. You're welcome. So tell us about yourself, Emily. What do you like to do? Uh, lots of things, but I'm really into sports. I'm a big video game player. Some might say I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> okay. I'm a big video game player. So you're quite the homebody. I like to watch movies and play video games. Is that okay? Yes, of course. We're quite the homebodies ourselves. That's why we live in such a big place. We don't have to leave. 
You'll have to tell us some of your favorite games, and we'll make sure to stock you up on all the latest. Oh, thank you. That would be amazing. I actually wouldn't mind getting a phone, if that's possible, to talk to my friends and play apps. After we both get situated, we'll see what we can do to give you all the things you need. So aside from video games, is there anything else you like to do? Well, there is one thing I like to do, but it's a little embarrassing. Maybe I should have outgrown it. Oh, do you so still suck your thumb? No, that's not it. Well, then I guess you shouldn't be embarrassed to tell us. But now I'm curious, what is it? I like to play hide and seek. I'm really good at it, and love doing it. And I don't just play regular hide and seek, I like to play it in complete darkness, so it's scary and thrilling. Well, I assure you there will be no hide and seek in this house. This house is far too big for that. Someone could get hurt or lost, and my art could get destroyed. I wouldn't want any accidents. Uh, really? What's wrong with hide and seek? And it's not like I have anyone to play with. It's just so annoying that they s said no to begin with. My mom never said no. I miss her so much. Tears start streaming down your eye. I can't stop crying. I just miss my parents so much. Miss Harmon signals to Mr. Harmon that they should leave you alone. It feels good to cry, and after a while, the Harmons rejoin you with Caleb. Emily, our rooms are ready. Let's go see them. Caleb hugs you as hard as he can. It feels good to embrace your little brother. Yes, let's go check them out. Caleb's room is enormous, as big as any room you've ever seen before. Whoa, whose room is this? This is your new room, Caleb. We all share this room? No, Caleb. You get to sleep here by yourself. Do you like it? We can change it. No, I want to keep it exactly the same, especially the Triceratop pillow. Is that your favorite part? Yes, then the lava lamp. Lava lamp is as tall as the room, and the bed is twice the size of your parents' bed. Are you ready to see your room, Emily? I'm actually a little scared. You both have done so much for us. This is Harm, and that puts her arm around you and walks you across the hall to your room. The room is even bigger than Caleb's room. I see a PlayStation 4 controller on the ground! Props are ready. They prefer PlayStation over Xbox. This room is perfect. You also have your very own giant orange lava lamp and pastel blankets and pillows. Do you like it, Emily? But to be honest, I love it. It's okay, I guess. This isn't my style. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, I don't know how old she is. I'm going to assume, like, teenage age. So... Uh, I mean, I'm already... I'm, I, I can only say I love it because of the PlayStation 4 controller. Really? Yes, there's electric cars and planes and all things I like. I don't know how you were able to design it so well. I don't see the electric cars or planes. I see painting, lava lamp, and PlayStation 4. It wasn't easy, but we spoke with your parents a lot over the years. We know all about you. I'm really grateful. If I were to close my eyes and imagine the perfect room, it would pale in comparison to this. I love it so much. Thank you, Miss Harmon. That's just it. I miss my parents. The stuff is great and all. It's just that it's only stuff. You and me both. I'm not a materialistic person. Later that night, you have trouble sleeping in the strange new place. Every creak in that old house echoes loudly. You realize you've spent most of the night crying until you see a short silhouette standing in your doorway to your room. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, what the hell is this? Caleb? I'm scared. Can you come sleep with me? Before you can respond, Caleb's silhouette walks away as so you jump out of bed and chase after him. Caleb's sleepwalking. He's gonna get himself hurt. 
What should I do? Go get Caleb? Go back to sleep. You get out of bed to shut the door, but when you do, Caleb is standing right in front of you. You grab his arm and lead him to his room. Your hands are so cold. Caleb, are you awake? Hey, Caleb, are you awake? Sure. Sacrifice. The voice is grim and slow, like two dying old women's voices intertwined. It isn't Caleb at all, it's some sort of unnatural being. You back away slowly. As you do, the ghost opens its eyes. What the f- Oh! Did come left here, blah, blah, The eyes alone were enough. Wow. Ah! You scream, wakes up Caleb, and he reaches over to turn the light on. Emily, what's going on? Caleb, you're okay. I thought you came into my room. You woke me up. Why are you screaming? Miss Harmon. Also heard your scream and comes rushing down the hallway to Caleb's room. What's going on in here? Why are you kids still awake? Um. Okay. Everyone must go to bed now. As Harmon walks you back to your room and brings you some juice. Do you want to tell me why you were screaming like a banshee in the middle of the night? I should tell her the truth. I saw Caleb sleepwalking, so I went to get him. There was some weird thing with a shrill voice and floating eyes. Seems like you had a bad nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare. I was still wide awake. Honey, you went through a very traumatic experience. You're likely to experience some bad dreams now. I'm telling you, it wasn't a dream. After what you experienced, your imagination must be running wild. It might be hard for you to be alone at night. If you want, I can sleep here with you for the rest of the night. Oh, no thank you. I think I just better get used to sleeping on my own. If Caleb can do it, I can too. Okay, but I'll be down the hall if you need me. How am I going to sleep after that? I don't know if, I'll, if I can, but I don't really want to stay up in this house either. Staying awake in the night time... In this time, nighttime purgatory, you realize that your favorite fairy tale life tale. Oh my lord, I am getting brain twisted and tongue twisted. Fairy tale life isn't perfect, and you might not be as safe as you hoped. Are there truly ghosts in the mansion? Find out in the next chapter. Like I'm, like I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm reading the first line, and then I just hop down to like the second or third line, and I'm like, wait, what? It's like, please rating, leave us five uh, app. <laughs> it's like oh it's been a long day oh and coffee just is not helping right now it's been a very long day been through a lot um did you notice they change here I'll show you check this out they change the uh the intro which is super cool so it's it's a clown Oh, you can't blow it up. It's gone with what looks like her heart. That is super cool. And then there's a bunch of, like, really, like, ugh, dolls in the back. And I like it. I like the spooky. Have spokes, ghosts been surfacing in your room in the middle of the night? Or is the darkness playing tricks on your mind? <sighs> um, so I pretty much had to restart the app. And um, at the time, the Facebook sync thing, which, by the way, remember... Um, to use Facebook login. Um, because if you don't, you will lose progress like I did. So I had to restart all this. Um, I got everything back up to where it was now, officially. They've also updated the app, so I think that might have been what was going on. They fixed a couple things. This is now coming soon instead of, Hey, check this out! It's new! Oh! Um, they got rid of some of the other books down here, remember? Um, so now it's just these. Which is cool, but at least they showed um, what the app was capable of, what this, they're working on. Then they also gave synopsis. Um, you can always click Remind Me, so when a story goes live, um, it will remind you and it'll say, Hey, by the way! Um, so I'm looking forward to these really, really awesomely. Um, 
that being said, I'm going to slowly work on this. I'm also doing Diamond Editions for Choices. I'm also doing Fallout Shelter because right now there's an event going on where every day for the next week, if you log in, you'll get like, um, they gave out a Mr. Handy on day one. They gave out a um, legendary pet. At least I got one on day two. Um, and they also gave, they're giving out more and more. Tomorrow's day three, day four, you know what I'm saying. So I'm checking out that. There's so much I'm multitasking right now, so much that's on my plate. So um, do forgive me if I'm not jumping on these as soon as possible. I do like how they are a little short, they are a little bit sweet, um, but they're all new content. And then it's amazing because the music's custom, the music's constantly changing, it's new. Um, in almost every book there's at least one new little tune. Um, also the artwork is completely original, it's completely different, so that's a huge thing that's different between Choices and this one. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm really, I'm really, um, I'm really enjoying it so far. So if you did enjoy the book, or chapter of the book, as much as me, uh, feel free to hit the like or share button. Also head down to the description below if you're feeling generous enough. You can support me and my content. And there's also a couple links for social media that you can follow me on. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.